Most IBM elements you will see for the 2 and the 3 have these solid black plastic clips on them. And it is a, blast, uh, a black plastic clip with a cam that spreads apart the two little wire clamps that hold the element down onto the machine. And these are very robust. It is a one solid piece mechanism. However, as many people who are familiar with IBMs know, that the predecessor of that design was this plastic and metal clip system, which um, doesn't really work anymore because the plastic is a brittle material and often expands and contracts and fails to grip that metal cam. And they just, they break right off. So the fix that we have for that is to solder on a piece of metal. And in this case, a small piece of a penny. And even though it doesn't stay locked open, it is a very robust kind of mechanism for repairing these elements. And it doesn't take a whole lot of time or effort. So that's what the goal of this video is, just to quickly walk you through how I did this and repair one of these elements. So the first step, of course, is to take your broken plastic tab and your penny. And I'm going to lay my black plastic tab on top of the penny. And with the Sharpie marker, just draw a crude kind of outline on the surface of the coin for where that tab should be cut out. Now, that's not going to be a completely accurate, uh, you know, cutout. But it does serve as kind of a general guideline of what we want to remove. And I do extend that little tail just a little bit so we, we're sure that we have enough material to solder onto. And then we'll just take that red section, everything that's colored red, and cut it out. Of course, it doesn't have to be red. It can be whatever color marker you had. So I'll take a pair of vice grips and insert them over my penny. I'll focus this. And I will take a Dremel with a abrasive cutting wheel and we will just go ahead and make the first couple cuts. Looks like we need to tighten that wheel up. Okay, once we have those two cut, we'll just Flip our coin in our vise and cut this way. And then... I don't cut all the way through on that long cut. I just go about halfway, a little more through the coin. At which point we can just take a pair of pliers and just work that piece off. And then we can flip our piece around in the vice grips and go after the other side. So once we have our piece rough cut, we'll notice that there's a lot of burrs and areas that kind of need to be straightened out still. So we'll just use the flat side of the Dremel and then the wire wheel and clean that up. Once that stage has been done, your part should look a lot nicer and we will lay it on top as kind of a test fit just to see what more we need to shave off. And it seems like we need to cut a little bit more off the bottom and narrow down that tail just a little bit more. Clean on the wire wheel, we have an almost perfect fit. So I was a little bit off round on there, but that's okay. The next thing I'm going to want to do is just scoop out the back of that tail just a little bit so that we can solder it evenly to the round curvature of the, the metal cam. And then we should be good to hit it on the wire wheel once more and then solder it on. We're just going to use a small dab of flux and just paint it a little bit on the back end of the tail there. And with a small tip soldering iron, 
we're going to apply some decent amount of heat in a slow, even manner with a little bit of solder. Uh, oops. There we go. Shatter should just flow right into that little gap there. Perfect. And we'll set that aside, bring in a type element, and give that some flux up on top of our cam there. And we will also come in with a little bit of solder. And since we are soldering to steel, we'll just let the iron sit there for a moment and give it some extra heat, just so we can kind of get it all to flow where it needs to be. Flux is your friend, make sure you use plenty of it. And once we have a nice little bead flowed on there, we can go ahead and position our new tab, lining up the outside edge of it. Hold that down with something that's not your finger, can give this a little bit of heat to melt down into place. We'll give that a little bit of flux. Reheat it to flow everything into place and then let it cool. Okay, I went ahead and I gave the element a little bit of a rinse. And there we have it, a new latch on your type element. And that is pretty solidly in place. Pretty reliable. I, uh, I've been flipping these for a while and I haven't really noticed any breakages. So hopefully that'll be good and strong for a nice long while. Yeah, works pretty well. So I hope that was somewhat informative and helpful. And there you go. Top of the element with a little bit of wax, it looks a lot nicer. See if we can move it to uh, better lighting conditions. Yeah, they do look pretty nice.